Hi everyone, Mother Gothel here, with Rapunzel locked away in her tower, safe from the outside world. I can be here with you. In case you didn't know, Rapunzel has magic powers. Her hair glows when she sings. That's why I don't let her out of the tower. I'm afraid people will make fun of her because she's different. She's special. So I keep her locked up so she's safe. And today I want to teach you how you can create your very own tower so you can also be safe. Here is an example of the tower we will be making. It's just like the one I keep Rapunzel in. And the equipment needed to make one of these lovely towers to keep yourself safe is one kitchen roll or two toilet rolls. You'll need two different coloured pieces of paper. I'm going to be using pink and purple because they are my favourite colours. However, you can use whatever colour you want. You'll need a black pen, some scissors, a feather and some glue. So that's all. Now we're ready to make our towel like the Rapun one Rapunzel's in. So step one to make our lovely tower, we will be taking our kitchen roll and I'm going to be covering it using my purple piece of paper. To do that, I'm going to put some glue along the edge here, like that, and stick it to my kitchen roll. Or toilet rolls and then I'm going to put another strip along and I'm just going to glue it until the paper is secure so now I've glued my paper to the kitchen roll don't worry if you've got some extra we can cut that off and you'll be needing this bit of paper later on and just Stick it down nice and tight on the back. And there we have it. The, the outside of our tower is done. And then the next step then is we're going to do our window. To do that, we're going to be taking the pit we just cut off. And we're going to be cutting out a small oval shape for the window. Just like that and I'm going to be colouring it using my black pen in black. Like that. If you would prefer to use some black or grey card to do this you can. And again we're going to put some glue on the back and stick it about three quarters of the way up our tower about there now we've got a window just like the one I used to call Rapunzel to let down her hair our next step then is to get our second colour piece of paper so I'm going to get my pink colour and I'm going to cut a strip off the end and this will be used to go around the middle to decorate. Like that. And I'm going to be gluing that around the middle to decorate. Again, don't worry if it's too long because you can cut it after. Like that. And now all that's left for our tower is we need to do our roof. As we don't want to be getting wet inside so to do that we're going to take our pink piece of paper again and I'm going to be cutting out a circle shape 
like that. And to make our top, we need to make this circle into a cone. To do that, I'm going to cut about a quarter out like that. And we're going to be gluing these two sides together to make a cone. So to do that, I'm going to put a little bit of glue along here and glue them together and just push it down so it stays nice and tight. And finally then, we need to attach this to the top of our kitchen roll. This can be a little bit fiddly, so you might want some help. To do that, I'm going to put some glue around here, like that. And put it on top and push it down to make sure it stays. There we go. And our final step then is we want our tower to be the best tower possible. We want it to be comfortable and nice to stay in. So I'm going to attach a feather to this top to decorate. So there we have it. Our towers are now complete. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your very own tower with me, just like the one I use to keep Rapunzel in. I've certainly enjoyed teaching you this today and remember you can stay safe too now. And before I go, there's one thing I must say, Mother! <laughs>